Hey guys, P here with Crunch Time Coaching. Hi guys, Nick here from Intuitive Tennis. Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net. What's happening guys? It is Nate with Player Court, my longtime student, Aiden O'Connor. Hey guys, Coach Daniel Hammer at Tennis. So you're looking for a coach and you're not rolling in the dough. An online coach who's free and got the dips on hitting hard and getting your cardio up. Okay, I checked out a dozen or so coaches and we're gonna go over five of the most popular. Clickbait? This guy is gonna play tennis on a boat? Okay, so copying the pros can be a really good thing, but sometimes it can go disastrously wrong. So you're gonna try and copy that, but I'm telling you, unless you're an advanced tennis player who's got all day to hit tennis balls, you're gonna end up pulling off so many shots. The female is always leading the guy along. The female is always leading the guy along. The female is always leading the guy along. I'd like to say something in Hindi, then translate it to English. Does this man sleep with dinosaurs? Come on, Waldo, move into the modern age. Today's woman is not the carrot that leads the donkey guy along. So what I teach students to do instead is to have a relationship between the two hitting hands, okay? Keep them as connected as possible. In fact, I like to say like they're in a relationship, like uh, they're, they're in the courting process. This is the, the non-dominant hand is, is the female role and the, the male is the dominant hand. I can't even, this is so sexist. And, and so we want to pretend that, that the male really wants to date, right, the non-dominant hand. And so in the beginning, they're close together. Then they come here, they separate a little bit. And then as they're, they're going, they trail together. And then at the end, they catch and they meet. I would like to clog his mouth with a humongous carrot. There's a lot of amateurs out there who don't have 15 hours a day to go to the doll. Tennis ball. So, he's got a good point there. Well, this guy online, what does it say here? Beginner tennis lesson. Well, if you want to begin a tennis lesson, the first thing you're going to see is a woman's butt. I don't want to see a woman's butt when I want to learn how to play tennis. Feminists are not going to be too happy with that, and for very good reason, mind you. Now, if that's not bad enough, this guy really loves butts. Because it's beginner rallying, and once again you see a woman's butt. Now, some people will rally around a woman's butt, but not me. Not when I want to play tennis. Now, here's another one. Serve power lesson, and you got a woman's butt. This is a fixation on butts, women's butts. Here's another one, the same instructor, return drills. You look at a woman's butt. Now, she's got a cute butt, but who needs to watch women's butts to learn how to play better tennis? So. Sure, this guy gets a lot of uh, views for obvious reasons. But if you really want to learn serious tennis, I think you should skip this lesson. You don't need to see butts to play better tennis. Oh, so what? Some teachers like to bring out the artillery. Excuse me, are you trying to mansplain objectifying women's bodies? What is wrong with you? You know, you're bumping them gums a whole lot. Those girls are beginners and he's making them look like they need to be mansplained too. Do you need to tighten up a few screws? Well, I happen to think you're cramping his style. He can teach tennis without swooping in on a woman's booty. Oh, I am going to Google that one, Dimbo. You know, you're a real duck dog. 
powerful forehands going up over his head, feet off the ground. Get real. You want a powerful forehand? Hit like a martial artist. I don't want you to feel like the swing should be across after contact and wrap around your body. Go up after you hit the ball. And, you know, you look at Nadal, and he continues to do this, and the racket goes up over his head. He's not front page in some lady's butt. So you got to plus him. Make it a C plus. How to hit deep, heavy topspin shots. Okay. Featuring Nadal. Are they ever going to feature a female pro in one of these lessons? What is wrong with these male tennis teachers? Why is it always Federer, Nadal and Djokovic? Why don't they show Williams, Bharti and Osaka? The next thing that we're going to focus on is what his arm is doing. And we like to say kiss the bicep. Aiden works out a lot. He's got some guns. So he's going to kiss that bicep on the follow through. So can you show us what we're talking about here? Kiss the bicep? He can kiss my- Keep it cool. Huh? I'm going to kiss the bicep? Kiss the bicep? Only when I sneeze. When I was doing sword work, we never kiss the bicep. Let me tell you something. When I started out with the martial arts, we used wooden swords, Boken, and the masters used real swords. We didn't kiss anything, we kicked ass. Bottom line, you can develop real power by studying the martial arts. Yep, so it's a great ball. A little low though, right? So let's get some more height here, Aiden. That's the ball. That is the ball that we're working on. So it's not just about power, right? I want, I'd rather see that ball push an inch or two out. A high ball to the baseline with heavy topspin will be put away by a martial artist using sword techniques. Notice the sword technique with the racket. The follow through for both the sword and the racket is low to the ground. A woman can do what a man can do just as good. Or even better. If women tennis players were to add sword techniques to their tennis, they could beat the men at their own game. Through the development of key, the tennis player can develop immense concentration and control. Through the development of key, the karate practitioner can develop immense concentration and control. Now, let's welcome Master Heidi Ochiai. Master Ochiai will now slice an apple while it is placed on a volunteer's bare throat. Even the slightest error would be catastrophic. To cut the apple in two, he must complete a full swing of the sword. Oh, and there's one more thing. I started up with karate after seeing Master Chiai in person. Chop that apple on the guy's neck. That was something else. Use a hammer for better forehands. This guy's got my attention. When we work on using this hammer, it allows our brain to set this point out here with our elbow and we can drive down. So now when I take the hammer, I'm trying to hit the ball out into the court. It's like this. And so instead of swinging this way with my hand, it's kind of like I'm almost karate chopping the ball sideways. Now you're talking. Martial arts can totally transform both amateur and professional tennis. You know, so think about it. If I was, you know, you see the people with the, the blocks that do the karate chop, they go down, bam, this way. If I try to smack it sideways, they can't break those blocks. 
so our arm works stronger in this downward motion. Imagine the doll using technique like that. Coach Daniel is on the money with his hammer tennis. Though being a martial artist, I replaced the hammer with a sword. He's spot on with combining karate and tennis. Big Daddy Kane says, when I'm cruising in my Volvo, cops harass me. They never ride past me. They hound me like Lassie. My name is Mon Pro. I get dysphoria. When tennis teachers hit with Federer, acting all superior. So go back to Babylonia and babble some more. Cause there's more to tennis than Federer. Mon Pro, I dig your rap. Talking tennis with a recap of BLM fighting a death trap. You remind me of Brother Doom telling them the basics, basically breaking the matrix. There's a lot more to life than athletics, didactics, and tactics. We got to outfox the chatterbox who tells us to shut up and just talk tennis. Oh no, when it comes to justice, we can't be speechless. I hear you, Grandmaster JC. Forget the Furious Five. We got to be fearless and flawless. Never godless and heartless. Rapping just tennis, not a word about justice. More black and brown people would play tennis if there were tennis courts in lower income communities. <laughs>